see the imbroglio in which we have been immersed by the clerk of parliament failing to obey a clear court order of the constitutional court. This is abhorrent, this is unacceptable and militates against the rule of law, fundamental human rights and good governance in, in Uganda. The parliament is the arc of democracy. We should never have a day in the history of this nation when the Commission of Parliament has been given an office that was wrongly grabbed from him by the Speaker of Parliament, having to turn up at an office like this, and he finds it closed. This is a dark day in the history of our country, and this should be the last time this office is closed when Honorable Zakia comes here to open it. The country is run on the basis of laws, the Constitution of Uganda, and not on the whim of a parliamentary speaker who thinks that she's above the law. We refuse to, to pray by her whims. We refuse the dictatorship of the honorable speaker, and we insist that she opens this office. We are giving her an ultimatum of one week. Muruganda ngamba chiswaza nyo sema teka e gamba to forget a guanga, you know, to treat it up to sins in a coma take of Sema take up to Kurembele Lung, Naye, Speaker Wafe, or Parliament Yafe, a gem at the court here guanga, a gem at the constitutional court, Nagana Kukura office, no, a tenga court here Mugamba Jigule, an office here commissioner of Parliament, to office here Anita Amon. I know Teger and the guanga, you know, to look at a coma take up, the two forget a close of ye. Chino Chiswaza, a teaching me take a tetum one day week, mu a great office, no, over to Musibe. Yeah, uh, I've come here for over a month. An order from court came to this uh, institution, ordering it to immediately reinstate me. It actually addressed me as a parliamentary commissioner. The constitutional court, a full constitutional court, addressed me as a parliamentary commissioner. And it ordered this parliament to open my office immediately and to begin my duties as a parliamentary commissioner after winning parliament of, parliament of Uganda. And I have to access my office. It is uh, very disturbing that this office, up to now, it is still locked. My keys do not work here. The locks were changed. And you know in the manner in which they came and attacked my home with my family there, took away the can everything whatever they did up to now nothing has been done yet the court order has never been changed up to now but they have disobeyed it what? it's not so surprising that all institutions of uh, of this country they are in two slavery that they can't obey the law and the parliament of Uganda it makes the law but it doesn't obey the law today it has been clear so instead of doing what is expected out of them they are doing the opposite. So we still demand that this office be opened immediately so that I use this office to handle the nitty gritties of the cases they are alleging to put on me. Because how will I handle my duties when the office has been closed? Up to now, I'm working the corridors. It is very unfortunate that this parliament is keeping on making me suffer. Am I not a member of parliament? No, it's supposed to be kept at, a, at the reception of the commission. It's right there. That's where we first went. They told us that the keys, 
there with the, with the speak of parliament. What next? What next? I'm with my lawyers right here. This is contempt of court. I'm going to... She's going to jail. The speaker is going to jail unless she opens this office. She should open it without any qualification, without whining, without trying to amend it. This is the rule of law. We are not pleading with her. We are instructing the Speaker of Parliament to open the office of the Commissioner of Parliament. This country must be run on the basis of the law, not on the whim of a Speaker. Government is Tegurwanga, bacha ambonya abonya, bacha bacha nkumi dewa bweru. Nenga ate, okula giro kwa koti, te kuhi mirizi wanga, te kuji wanga wo. Kati, buwe wanga koti namba ya samateka, ya mpita parliamentary commissioner, buwe ya lieta andika, okuandikira, okuandiko ensala yayo, ya gamba zake, commissioner wa parliament. Ila na ila gira, nzizi webio, nabio, 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 kwa tagano kukubela parliamentary commissioner, immediately. Nekati, Tugenda kuweza mezi ebili, mwesi mwenaba kujiseo, tu wali chikole duwa huu. Chana kunyo, ukulaba anga parlamenti ya Uganda, e ya ndiba de ewe subiru wa mo ukulaba anga, ujoye ino kulagida institutions e dalo kugubeli la mateka, na hiyo nyini nyini nyini, te gubeli la mateka, e chuno che unisa, na inga atifa mwote tuche unyanyo, kubanga mula biengeli jiba ziba mpisa mbaje wakane, bata kinga waka wange, ne bajia ye motoka, na hiyo kulabi nabino mwenyeo baku chusa, Tepuli mnyolo kwa sula kubanga, sula kubanga, nkwazi sabi sumuzo biyange, okugula kubanga enzi wali liku ofisi, e kuliru amu wano ku commission, uh, reception ya fi wano, obajite secretariat. Ngabanga ambayi bisumuzo wa viva jako da, ania viva jako, madam speaker, ya vitu wala. Era ya abilina, muodropu ye, obabina wakawe, nzenawe, simanyina ye, nzize wano, nebaloya, ukulabanga, tufuna access ku ofisi eno. Era, buwabanga baganye, Chetuza kwa chilichimu, ila mbanzila yeri balo ya bange, ukula banga, ufiseno, eguli wa uma angudala, singati chibata chikole dua, chibata chitegeza, tuino mmenyu wa mateka wano mparlamenti, atinga ya ajikulida, tupa tugena muko lako, nga mateka wegala gira. Mbanzi yako, mwafisi ya kala, kutusanze taliyo, apa nitu ya fulumi ya guanga, netugenda ewa assistant we, wetu sewa assistant, batu gambi enti, omubaka, bamu wa office endala. Mbagambi wa? Ntibampa ku Queen's Chamber. Ku Queen's Chamber. Baga amba mgambi ya mba muwandi ki debalu wanga mba mgama anti office eno jare medeko ya commissioner yita chari commissioner. Nga chibageza wako kutegeza anti mbo chira gilo cha court paka kati tepari wili ingi chigo vedeno. Neba mwa office endara medi wan say. So echi singo buku nechila anti njiga lukwe buzevi buzo vino bigende eri akulida parliament yenu. Nze na muko lachi. Nze buchisela bulu, unamu wangu la kati, bagiza kunte kako, bintu vya anja ulu, nukula banga bogera, bongera, okumbo nyabo nya, nukula banga bata wanya, ukule mbeze wangu, kubanga nchikila bantu be mitiana. Bante kako chino chisango, chila bante kako chidieri, na henga boba bagu loza, antipoba andiba deba gobila mateka, luache sawazino, teba gobila mateka, neba gula ofisi yange, nemba ngansubulu, kubanga nchikila, mpanga nchikila, abantu bange, mpalamentenu, nchikila chibina change, kukachika, kafuga palamentenu, chiche baku eka. Ila mbawa warningi, singa teba jigula, nenda kutandi kukwase biyama, bichibi yonabia bakweka. Ya, so batu wade, batu wade barue no, nga bala gambo waji wandi ka machi, nga vedi, umuwa kabuno mamachi, mezi nga musangwe mabega, basikali barue ni gamanti, kutu yonabia ya sarawu ya bisarawu na efete tukuliko kunaizi nga gani, nga komisho na katiba yifude barue, nga baji bakudeti nga mwena mujiraba, ila yine gamanti kwa ofise no jayo girako, Tiyo ya commissioner, so, bo, tebamu recognize nga commissioner, nebamu wenu, ili kukwenzi chambers. Ya parliament, ya MP wabuli jo. Ya MP wabuli jo. Nebwe watu wabawandi kide, ate nebadamu, nebagama tugovere, nereta, ekuntanya, ekuntanya, oda ya. Ekuntanya na mataka. Eta recognize nga oda ya kote. So, ya fijitu wabawandi kide, 
Yabalo ya bange ngatuba lagira okuteka mu nkola koti bya sarao twawandi kire barue eno ngatuba bulira ebimu ku commissioner bya ino kola eyo olwalero mu office eno abadde ino ku interactinga na aba mu ku bagendo ku baba julizwe mwana mmanyi nti aina emisango ja ina mu committee ya discipline abadde ino ku meetinga abo abayinzo kubera aba witness be misange ejo ne mirimu emiraja abadde ino kakalabya nebyo na tebaddeyo atenga bamusubira okomawo wikeja yenyonyoleko so bino byo nando za banange mu bidaba nti parliament yeno eyongedde maso kulabanga yo tegendera ku mateka era eyongedde kulabanga yisa olugayo mu mateka ekintu ekichamu dalala ekintu cha tuvumira ne sekuvumirira na ife tugena kulabanga tuongera ujira bisa no ku exposing abuli kimu eno just intandi kwa kulabanga tu exposing anything that is wrought in this parliament we are going to keep on exposing that whatever is happening from the commission up to the staff level okay. to ask the necessary question to the clerk unfortunately the clerk has been out of office we access the deputy clerk and he has informed us that there is no office for me as a parliamentary commissioner that means that they disobeyed the court order that ordered for me to be in this office because that was the court order from the constitutional court so that's what has happened today it is very unfortunate very unfortunate even when it's not surprising that parliament is not following the law again it has not followed the law the court ruled that parliament doesn't follow the law and it actually promised from their own from their own letter even on the social media handles of parliament they promised to heed to the law to to accept the court order but now they have not so that's why we had to come here physically to let the country know that this is what parliament is doing. Yeah, I'm asking a lot of questions to the leadership of this parliament, especially to Madam Speaker. What did I do wrong to you? Do you have a grudge on me? Do you have anything wrong with me? If you have it, please address to the public. If you do not have it, obey the laws. Obey the laws of this country. If you're not, we are going to begin exposing each and every road that is in the commission because that may be the reason as to why you don't want me to get in because I represent the I represent my party as the NUP. I'm their representative on that committee. I was the chairperson of the internal audit. Is it an audit being done in this parliamentary commission? Are they stealing or not? That will be exposed. What I know what I know about that matter is that uh, it is a matter between Honorable Zake and the Attorney General. Because the matter in the court was Honorable Zake versus the Attorney General. And I know there was a ruling in favor of Honorable Zake. However, the Attorney General informed us, Parliament, that he had appealed the ruling. And since he informed us, he has not given the Parliament further guidance on what to do. And I, according to him, to Parliament, he had appealed and got, in lawyers, is it what? A stay of execution. So that is the situation that the Parliament knows. However, knowing that Honorable Zake is still a bona fide member of Parliament, deserving of an office, the clerk to Parliament went ahead and temporarily allocated him office space where other members are given offices that is at, at Kingdom Building, Kampala Kingdom. So he has an office to operate. Has this matter is being handled by the courts of law. That is the situation pertaining us of now. Yeah, that's how we got to know about it. It's the Attorney General who informed the Parliament about the appeal but the clerk to parliament 
could not live on Ivory Zake without an office to operate. That's why it was allocated space at Kampala Kingdom building. So the matter of the commission will again be informed after the appeal process. But we need to know that it is not Honorable Zake versus Parliament. It is Honorable Zake versus the Attorney General. So we receive notices from Honorable Zake's lawyers, we also receive from the Attorney General. No, you have rightly said, the Speaker said there was an appeal. The law gives power to the Attorney General to be the legal, 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 legal counsel for government. And Parliament is a government institution. It's an arm of government. And in the case in court, it's not directly between Parliament and Honorable Zake. It is Honorable Zake versus the Attorney General. Mm. I owe you the truth. Because what would I, I'm a journalist like you. If I don't tell you the truth, you can dig it your own way. So my integrity has to remain. The thing I know is about the appeal. And normally when the appeal is ongoing, we can't do, we can't do much. What I know is Parliament is a public institution. Secrecy may be very hard because everything that happens here is through a system. So I don't know which secret is saying is going to, to expose. Maybe there are political secrets. Maybe secrets are, are varied. So I don't know which secrets they are threatening to expose.